Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to R. We are going to rewrite this to match with this form. So we have ZP. So Z into small p. And we don't have Q term. So this will become 0. Actually it is 0 into Q. Capital Q is 0. And this X we can take to the other side which is minus X. Now by comparison capital P is Z, capital Q is 0, capital R is minus X. Let's take it separately. Capital P is Z, capital Q is 0, capital R is minus X. So it is enough to solve dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r to get the solution. So now dx by z, this is dy by 0 and this is dz by minus x. Now first part we are going to group these two. And what happens is dx by z equal to dy by 0. By taking the 0 to the other side, it is 0 into dx by z equal to dy. So finally, this is dy equal to 0 because this entire term is 0. On integration, we are going to get y equal to this is 0 and there is a constant c1. So y is equal to c1. In the same way, if I take these two terms again to get the same solution. So instead of this, we have to take first and the last. So that is dx by z equal to dz by minus x. Then for integration, we have to have the variable separable form. One side we have, should have the same variable. So we have to cross multiply. This becomes minus x into dx and z will be multiplied here z into dz. Now we got the variable separable form. We go for integration on both the sides. This is minus x square by 2 and this is z square by 2 and we have a constant c2. Now let's take this term to the other side. So already we have minus x square by 2 and this is minus z square by 2 equal to c2. Let's take the LCM. LCM is 2. So we have to add the numerator. We take the minus in common. So x square plus z square equal to c2. Taking this 2 to the other side and minus to the other side, we get x square plus z square is equal to 2c2 with minus sign. And this is our u. u is c1 which is y and this is our v. That is x square plus z square. So as I told you in the previous problem, constant can be negative or positive or it's some integral multiple also or multiplied by any number. So we are taking at v. Now our general solution is in the form of f of u comma v equal to 0. So it is f of y comma x square plus z square equal to 0.